Hello and welcome to part six in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to create and build your very own PowerPoint presentation only using Python. And that's the key thing here. We're not going to go into the PowerPoint presentation software and we'll press any buttons at all. We're only going to be using our Python shell. Now this tutorial comes about because someone commented in our part four of this series, I think, um, wondering if I was going to use hyperlinks or do a tutorial on hyperlinks. And so I thought that was a very good idea. And so what I'm going to do is this tutorial here and now only on hyperlinks. Please do keep the comments coming and it's proof that I do act on your suggestions. So please do not be afraid to comment below and suggest anything. So let's start. At the end of the last part, we had a table created that looked something like this. And please do subscribe. Very good point there in our top row. And then at the end of the last graph, we also had last part, part four, I think it was. We also had like a sort of graph created as well. It looked a bit like this. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding another slide which is going to have our hyperlink to Google, the Google search engine. So let us now, firstly, what we need to do is create and register our first, our new slide with a new layout. And so what we can do is we can then put our link into our new slide. So let's get started. First things first is we need to copy and do the same thing we need to create all the other slides is we need to go to type in PR1, which is the name of our presentation, right at the top, the beginning of all this series. PR1 is our presentation. And then what we can do is we type in PR1 here, dot slide underscore layouts, and then put in zero in square brackets which is a specific type of layout. And we've equated that and called that the variable slide7.register. And then next thing we can do is we can create a new row, type in pr1.slides.add underscore slide. Then we type in our slide7 underscore register. And then we create that variable slide7. And those two lines have created, registered and created our slide a new slide with a specific layout the next thing we can do now is we're going to create a title exactly the same way we've done before if we type in slide 7 calling our new slide dot shapes dot title and equate that the variable title 7 then if we type in title 7 dot text and then put equals and then the title we want in this case it's going to be hyperlinks cool and now this is the new part. This is the bit where we're going to create our hyperlink. If you type in slide seven, calling our slide seven, dot placeholders and then square brackets one. So that essentially what it does is it goes to the first placeholder. And then if we type in after that square brackets dot text underscore frame dot paragraphs and then a square bracket zero. What that'll do is that'll create a, a text frame within our placeholder where we can now add our text object, which will be given the hyperlink to Google. I know it sounds really confusing, but I'll just say it again. So what we've done here in this line of power one our variable is we've created we've gone into our placeholder and we've created a text frame where we can add some text and then hyperlink that text so that it goes to google when we click on it cool so our power one is our text frame within our placeholder 
if we then what we need to do now is we need to add a text based object which is our add underscore run where we can add text to and so we type in para one which is our text frame object which is our sort of text frame we can then type in dot add underscore run which then creates a object within that text frame and now in our next line we can put text into that text frame which is our object which we're going to click on so our para one is our text frame our add run under add run one is our text frame with our object in it and then if we type in add run one dot text equals google hyperlink in quotation marks what we've done on these three lines is it's probably better if we work backwards is we've created some text then in our add run one line here we've created a sort of we've turned that text into a text based object and then here we've placed that object within a text frame within a placeholder cool and then what we can do now is we're going to add a hyperlink to that text where we can click on and it will take us to that hyperlink where it links to so if we type in add run one here dot hyperlink we can now then below add a, an address to our hyperlink so if we type in hlink one which is our hyperlink dot address and then put equals we can now put the full website name with http at the beginning or https colon two forward slashes and then in this case it's www.google.com and then the final thing we could do back to same as normal is save it as a new file this time so we don't override the old one so this time we're going to do pr1.save and then in brackets type in analyst rising ppt tutorial this time part six rather than part five include the extension and we can now run this run it nothing will be here ah because we have it open here so if we close this and run it again it's denied because this software is already open so if we run it now we can press any key to continue we can then go to our page here don't know what's happening here we're typing part six like this we can go to our bo bottom here and we can see here that we've created a new slide with a google hyperlink hyperlinks is a title google hyperlink here so what we can do now is we can hold control click on the hyperlink and it will take us to google nice so there we are there we have it we have created a hyperlink that works in powerpoint only using our python shell in this case visual studio so i hope you've enjoyed that tutorial please do subscribe to my channel please do share this to other people if they like it and please do share the video or embed it in somewhere else i don't mind at all and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching.